The Story of Jonah with the Helm and Pets, Part 4. After Jonah finished taking God's message to the Ninevites, and they realized that they needed to change and serve God and not be so horrible to each other, God forgave them and didn't destroy them. And the fact that the Ninevites were now part of God's love made Jonah really angry. He started to have a temper tantrum. Have you ever felt like something was unfair? Like if someone gets something and you don't, maybe you feel angry or upset. Maybe you even had a temper tantrum. Well, that's what Jonah was doing in this story. He was having a temper tantrum. He was angry that God forgave the Ninevites. So he went outside the city and sat down and sulked. He tried to use some branches for shade, but he was getting hot while he was pouting and angry. So God, because he's a loving, caring God, even when we're having temper tantrums, caused a tree to grow and give shade to Jonah. That made Jonah happy. But then God did something else, because he was trying to teach Jonah something. He had a worm come and eat the tree and then sent a hot wind. Now Jonah was really hot and really mad again. God laughed and told Jonah that it was kind of silly for him to be so mad about the tree dying when it was just there for one day. If Jonah cared so much for a tree that was just there to provide him shade for a little bit, how could he be mad at God for caring about a whole city of people? God is a loving, caring God. Of course he was going to care for those people and give them a second chance because he's a loving, caring God who gives us all second chances. Even Jonah, even you and me, even when we're upset and angry and having a temper tantrum. Sometimes it seems unfair that God loves absolutely everyone, but aren't we glad he does? And that is where the story ends.